what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and today i have a snippet from an interview with a very special person a very special guest by the name of lady j now you may know her from her very popular instagram page at lady j bookums she's a music entrepreneur she has so many things that she helps artists with but this particular snippet is about how she went through a process of evolving and learning in terms of her music entrepreneurship and i think a lot of you will resonate with this if you haven't been through it yet you'll understand how it happens for pretty much everybody all these celebrities so i met someone just out at a networking event that was like hey i do these shows you know i work with artists you know basically it was like you want to do this with me like run promotion so i'm like sure so that's kind of how I got into it with this person. And, and, you know, we started running shows, but I quickly realized like I'm doing all the work. Like I'm out here networking. I'm talking to everybody because, yeah. you know, now I'm like, I'm trying to build something here. And we, once we did like the first show, we had a nice amount of artists. I started to really hit the scene, just going out to different showcases, just talking to every single artist that came off the stage. And the more we did it, the more that I realized, like, this person, like, I don't even need you because, like, you're not doing as much as I'm doing, but you're expecting all this money. So I started to really learn about how to conduct business, you know, dealing with a so-called partner, dealing with money, dealing with responsibility, yeah. um, dealing with attitudes and personalities because now I'm juggling, like, all these artists. So it it kind of, like, started building me as that entrepreneur. So as I broke off, from this person you know i started to just do my own shows so from that point on i always did it by myself now i always had people included like i would reach out to different sponsors because a lot of my shows were like contest based um so you know i reached out to different sponsors who will be offering everything from like interviews to um spinning music on mm -hmm. different like online radio stations where the bds was getting tracked um just whatever i can find of value to offer to like a contestant a winner yeah, I would just reach out to all of these people. So I started to just really be get like popular in Atlanta from from doing these shows. And as I started to do more, I'm like, OK, artists, they want to start performing in the strip club. So I started to go to the promoters and we started setting up strip club tours where they would do like a three strip club tour, you know, in Atlanta, just th three different clubs. They would get a bottle. They would get a table. It was like a package deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then, before you get go far, farther. How did you connect with the promoters for the strip clubs? Just going and popping up. Okay. And I tell people like networking is as simple as opening your mouth. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, when I go to places and this is one thing that I teach in my courses with my artists, I always tell them like to do some research first. If you, if there's an event, then you can find out ahead of time who was throwing the event, who's a part of it, who's the DJ, who everybody that has a role, you can really figure out who these people are so that by the time you get there, you already know who you need to talk to. You can talk to all the random people around, but you need to talk to the key people so that the next time they throw an event, your name comes up because now they made a connection with you or keep going to their events. So now they start to know you. So for me, I had to start going to the strip club. That's the, the, the one reason why I started to go to the strip club because I never was like a strip club type of girl before that. But I started to go to the strip clubs just to kind of connect with the promoters um, and, and just see what the scene was like. And that's how I realized, like, OK, a lot of these artists like performing in the strip club. And then I got into the strip club scene. So one thing led to another. I just started talking to one of like uh, a promoter out there that's like really um, known. You know, he's like a big he was like big, a big deal around us. He still is. But I went to him and I talked to him like, look what do I got to do to get artists in here on a consistent basis? So we put together a package. He was like, I'll charge you this much. So I'm like, okay, you're going to charge me this much, which means I got to charge this much. And then boom, we're going to rent it. So yeah. we started to do that. I had artists coming in, you know, it was like stipulations. They had to throw money at the girls while they're performing. And, but they got a bottle, they got a table. You know, I had people in there with the camera to, um, you know, just ca capture footage and, yeah. you know, just different things. Oh. But I learned um, how to do it better, you mm. know, because it was certain things that I couldn't control, like when they would perform. 
you know, what time they would perform. So it was like certain things that would happen out of my control. And I was like, you know, it's always evolving, but yeah. that's yeah, kind of how I got into that. that. Now, again, that's a process that so many people go through. I know a lot of people out there are wondering how do they get things done? They're trying to figure out a specific path. You have to be willing to experiment, get out there, get a feel for things and understand what your unique path might be as you evolve through the game. And it's going to constantly be happening. I've been through it. It's just life in general. Some lessons might hurt a little bit more than others, but they're all lessons that are valuable. Now, I definitely think you're going to get a lot of value out of the entire interview, which will be dropping in a couple of weeks, maybe could be sooner. And as with all these snippets, once that full interview drops, the link in the description below will become active and you can follow that link to the full interview if you're watching this video after the full video already dropped. Other than that, I would love to know you guys' thoughts. Talk about some of the experiences you've had as far as evolving as an artist or just a music entrepreneur or an entrepreneur in general because I know we have people who aren't even in music that watch this channel. Would love to hear from you. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, might as well share it and then you're not subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe.